year, it's more like 145. Growth is a thing one Wichita area company is getting used to. Now, you may have never heard of AmeriCart, but you've certainly seen its products on practically every curve. As Todd McDermott tells us how AmeriCart is blowing the lid off the trash container business. A hot sheet of plastic, a vacuum mold, and voila, AmeriCart Corporation turns trash into cash. Just one year old, the company sells over 200,000 curbside trash containers annually. Wichita makes that kind of success possible. Just ask company president Eric Gattuso. As the climate is very pro-business here in Wichita, Kansas, as well as the fact that we have a very good workforce, uh, that uh, people with a very strong work ethic. <laughs> and very strong work skills. AmeriCart's 100 or so employees bring talents developed in a number of more well-known Wichita manufacturing operations. Plastics delivered to the Goddard plant take shape in a process that's the standard of the industry. AmeriCart actually manufactures 55-gallon containers, the 90-gallon versions you use at home, and industrial-sized trash bins, too. Straight steel tubes also take their final twist here. AmeriCart prides itself on doing most of the assembly on the premises before the cart ever reaches your curb. Maybe building trash bins is the kind of business you haven't considered before, but consider this. Of the 20 or so companies in the United States that build the carts you push out to the curb each week, AmeriCart, right here at home, ranks as high as second in the country in sales. Uh, and this business is growing um, tremendously. Um, we have our carts everywhere from Washington, D.C. to Sacramento, California, coast to coast. And coast to coast, the curbside container market's worth more than $70 million. AmeriCart can claim a 20% share right now, and business is getting even better. We've expanded our business here in Wichita. We have uh, got a major undertaking. We're almost doubling the size of our facility here. Which, AmeriCart admits, probably wouldn't be possible without the right kind of business community behind it. The kind of community that allows a once-fledgling company to more than triple its workforce and now turn that trash into cash 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, speaking of cashing in, Wichita has certainly cashed in on the